Hello, my name is Matthew. Steve Wolbeck asked me to put together a short video giving examples to help explain the issues of when to file a homeowner's insurance claim and when not to. Also pointing out the benefits of working with a public adjuster during the claim. You see, to the trained eye, they are self-explanatory. Unfortunately, the typical homeowner doesn't have that training. This is where a public adjuster adds value and expertise to the overall process. The examples I will be using are with a twist of levity. But don't be fooled. When it comes down to business, we conduct ourselves in the most professional manner. Utilizing the services of a public adjuster can make all the difference in determining the outcome. Will it be a successful claim for the homeowner or successful claim for the insurance company? To find out, I have asked some of my friends to share some of their experiences dealing with claims. They will explain why a certain situation would not be a good claim to pursue. So let's get started. Hello, my name is Joseph, and Steve asked me to talk about this slide behind me. This is clearly a situation where a public adjuster can make an impact on a claim filed with the insurance company. Many parts of your policy's coverage would come into play for this loss. This has the potential to either gain or lose thousands of dollars for the homeowner if not properly represented to the insurance company. Hello, my name is Carol, and Steve asked if I would say a few words about filing a homeowner's claim or not. The slide behind me would be a good example of a bad insurance claim. I would not recommend filing this claim. Let's see what happened. This is a basement where groundwater has seeped in and wet the cement floor. What was the loss? Short of some boxes that may have gotten wet, there really wasn't any. Now what was the cause? Groundwater seeping in. That is not a covered loss. Groundwater normally is excluded from any coverage. So, with these facts, there isn't a claim to file. Hello, my name is Jeff. Steve asked me if I would go over this slide and explain if this was a good claim to file or not. First, let's identify what was the loss. This is due to hail damage. We need to look carefully for any hail deductible. That would be a concern. Then, find out if the policy covers hail damage. If it does, then absolutely, this is a great claim to file.